Within the lands of Italy, if ever you should go, you'll find a merchant family whom you shall surely know. The captain of the merchant men, Bardici is his name, gives patronage to artisans, and so is widely famed. But if you think to rob from him his riches to disperse, then heed you to my warning cry, which here I set in verse. Domenico was just as you, he eyed the baron's wealth, and set about to steal the coins by trickery and stealth, and sure enough he took the coins and hid them sight unseen. But now his life was tragedy where comedy had been. Domenico he served aboard the good ship Tiger Shark, and rose up with the break of day to hear the singing lark. But when he rose upon this day, his mates had circled round. They set upon Domenico and shoved him to the ground. What demon thoughts had filled your mind to do this foolish deed? We never more can trust your word, nor yet your counsel heed. From this day forth aboard the ship, a cabin boy you'll be. They turned their backs and left him prone, awash in misery. But as his mates all served him ill and put him to the whip, the other pirate captains came and circled round the ship. The tiger sharks have wrecked the name of good and honest men, for rumor spreads from land to sea and back to land again. If they should close the port to us, then you shall take the blame. You never more shall sail from port to spread your evil fame. The pirate captains left the ship. The tiger sharks grew pale. They snatched Bardici's treasure chest and raised it with a wail. We do not want it any more. They rushed to give it back. Oh, but it was far too late to change to the course of fortune's track. For now diseases struck the ship, and every one was worse. So hard and fast and quick they struck, they thought they had been cursed. For scurvy kept them up by night, and pox had struck by day. Though they were stricken through and through, the worst was on its way. The crew was plagued by children. Need I say any more? They came upon the tiger sharks and set in by the score until at last Domenico, a withered, empty shell, succumbed and died upon the ship, his soul was bound for hell. And though they mourned and prayed to God, his crime had been so great that even Christ refused to bless the body at the wake. So hear me, all you ruffians who've listened to my song. The moral should be clear to you, for you have listened long. If you would rob Bardici's coin, no matter what I say, a life of pain and suffering awaits you on that day. Not a soul will mourn for you, and not a soul will grieve. Do not be like Domenico. Now kindly, take your leave.